And I know I'm opening myself up to getting hundreds of very, very passionate comments telling me that I'm very stupid for this. <laughs> what's up it's Kelly again and welcome back to my channel a few weeks ago I talked to you guys about some weird habits that my German boyfriend has and now it is my turn to talk about my weird American habits that drive Misha crazy and the first one is eating and drinking on the go I don't know if it's just because Americans have a more rushed lifestyle or we have longer commutes or we're constantly doing long road trips but Americans are always eating and drinking on on the go. And I didn't even realize that this was a weird habit in other countries until I started dating Misha and we were traveling around Germany together to go see different cities and on our several hour drive I would stop at like a gas station coffee shop on the side of the autobahn to grab some coffee with the intent of bringing it back into the car sipping it while driving somewhere. And Misha would always order for us and for the first couple trips I didn't think to tell him to get the coffee to go because I thought it was normal and therefore just assumed. But as it turns out it's not normal and therefore it's not assumed and so Misha was always getting the coffee to drink there at the gas station coffee shop instead of to go um, and this was just insane to me because I was like man I just want to get where we're going like I just want to drink the coffee in the car but it was equally insane to him to take the coffee into the car because he would never eat or drink in his car and also he looks at drinking coffee and going out to eat as like a very social thing and so because of that there's more formalities involved for him it's a bit more structured than what like I'm accustomed to and we go back and forth on this sometimes I win and we get the coffee to go and sometimes Misha wins and we will sit and drink the coffee instead and actually I didn't think about this until I started talking where like this really is a difference between the US and Germany because I feel like in the US when you go to a coffee shop and you order a coffee it is either assumed that you're getting it in a to-go cup or they will ask you want it to go or for here and I had multiple experiences in Germany of going to a coffee shop ordering coffee and they just assumed I wanted to drink it there and would as a default serve it in an actual mug so the default in Germany was to sit and default in the US is to go number two is small talk Americans are famous for their small talk and this is a cultural trait that I have truly honed I am constantly getting into full conversations with complete strangers anywhere and everywhere whether it's the grocery store line an elevator randomly on the sidewalk at a bar it doesn't matter I'm going to be engaging with strangers at some point during my day and probably the most extreme example that I can give you guys is when we were in Vegas recently we rented a slingshot to be able to drive to the Grand Canyon and back and whenever we got back into the city we were sitting at a red light on the way to the rental place and the woman in the car next to us rolled down her window to ask us about the slingshot and then she and I just like went into a full-blown conversation about the value of homemade gifts that is like how random these conversations are we were in a street in vehicles still talking to each other about a topic that I don't even know why we were talking about that and after that conversation ended Misha just like looked at me and shook his head and laughed uh, and said what he always says which is why do you keep making friends with complete strangers because this is like a normal daily occurrence for me and it's so weird to him because in Germany you just don't really do a lot of small talk and so he doesn't understand why I'm doing it and he definitely doesn't understand why I love it as much as I do but it has been really fun for me to see him engaging in some obligatory small talk since he's been in the US with me uh, and he just doesn't really like know how to handle it so he always comes off kind of awkwardly because he doesn't understand why this stranger just suddenly decided to strike up a conversation with him using cards to pay for small purchases in my video where I talk about Misha's weird German habits I brought up the fact that he uses cash to pay for anything and everything no matter how much or how little it costs because in Germany cash is very much king there and in fact there are so many places in Germany that won't even accept card they only take cash because it is so much 
more highly revered for many reasons that I'm not gonna get into in this video. But Americans are very different in this regard. Much like the Swedes and the Dutch, Americans are more prone to use their card for payments. And Americans might even be on the more extreme end of the scale with this because I see people paying for like a $2 coffee with a credit card or it's nothing for me to pay for like an 85 cent bag of pretzels with a card. As long as the store doesn't have like a minimum purchase requirement like threshold, I'm probably going to use my card to pay for it. More specifically, I'm going to use my Apple Pay because it takes literally 2.3 seconds for that transaction to go through through. It's the fastest way I can pay for something and it is so super convenient when I just have my Apple Watch on and just put it against the sensor and automatically I've paid for what I want. Misha hates this because it is so completely different from what he's used to and what he's done his entire life and whenever we were living in Germany my tendency to use card payments would sometimes cause issues because the place wouldn't take a card and I wouldn't ever have cash on me because I just never got used to the cash is king thing in Germany or the card machine would take a really, really long time for the transaction. I don't know why it is so much longer for card payments in Germany compared to the US, but it is. But I love it because I hate carrying cash, especially coins. So carrying the Euro coins was truly like an event for me. I also think that it's way faster, like I said, although maybe that's just in the US and not in Germany. And then I really like that I can review my bank statements and see every single purchase that I've made because I'm able to see exactly how much I paid for something because I don't keep receipts. I don't know anybody that does that. Or maybe I want to refer to like the exact date that I purchased something and that's there on my bank statement. And it actually helps me to assess whether or not I'm staying on my budget plan because I can look to see if I'm paying more than what I've allocated in a specific category like entertainment or food. So I find a lot of value in having all of my transactions recorded on my bank statements. And I know I'm opening myself up to getting hundreds hundreds of very very passionate comments telling me that I'm very stupid for this or that Americans don't have true freedom because we're tied to our credit cards and we don't use cash. But I guess Americans, like many other countries outside of Germany, are just more comfortable paying with card and trust their banks more. I am thinking about doing an experiment though where I take a week where I pay for everything as I normally would and compare it to a week where I use only cash to see if my spending habits are influenced at all by using just cash. If that's something that you guys would be interested in me vlogging, let me know in the comments. I think it could be a lot of fun or it could be very boring, so let me know. My road rage. Now, I don't necessarily want to use the term road rage because when I hear road rage, I think of like an overly aggressive and very angry person just going psycho on the roads and that does not describe me. I'm more of an irritable driver who will occasionally do a passive aggressive maneuver out of resentment for another driver. I just don't think there's a word in the English lexicon to cover that exact description. Maybe the specificity of the German language lends itself to having such a word and if you do know a word in German for that, please let me know in the comments because then I will learn something new and use that word probably on a daily basis. Anyway, I feel like this is like a really normal thing in the US, unless I just happen to be friends with the only Americans who do this. But it drives Misha crazy because he just doesn't want to hear me narrate our drive and explain why a guy just poorly maneuvered through a four-way intersection or tell a car that can't hear me who's driving in the left lane and not passing any cars to get over to the right lane. Like it just, it just drives him crazy and I get that and I've gotten a lot better but I do still have some room to grow. All right, last one, thankfully, because the sun is coming for me and it's gonna get really weird here in a second. Um, but the last one is frequently going out to eat. Now, I looked up some statistics on this before sitting down to film this video and I found that the average American will spend more than half of their food budget on restaurant meals and that this is on the rise, which to me is not surprising at all. Now, I grew up in a family that rarely ever went out to eat. In fact, my parents still don't ever go out to eat unless they're traveling. Um, but as soon as I left home and got my own job, I steered in the complete opposite direction. It's not that I don't like cooking, because I do like cooking fairly enough, 
but I hate grocery shopping. It is my least favorite chore or errand to run. I hate it. And also by the time I'm done with like a full day of work, I don't feel like cooking. So I'm really susceptible to giving in to ordering some delivery or grabbing something on my way home just so I can relax more when I get home. With moving to DC, this habit of mine has dramatically worsened because DC is an extremely social city that really thrives on networking over drinks or a meal. So now I have a legitimate reason to abandon my kitchen to go out to a fun restaurant and really it's just becomes a give-and-take where I'm giving up some monetary discipline in exchange for some social reward or some potential professional benefits but by default Misha doesn't see like the benefit to me going out to these types of events instead he just sees me going to a restaurant and spending a lot of money on a meal that I could have made at home for a fraction of the cost so to him it's really weird all right so while I was at Editing this video I realized that there are two more American habits that I have that drive my boyfriend crazy that I want to share with you guys because I just did them so for number six I hyperbolize all the time and I realize that I do this I use the most extreme version of what I'm feeling so instead of saying I'm hungry I'll say I'm starving instead of saying I'm tired I'll say I'm exhausted even in my YouTube videos I'm always using words like weird and crazy and I've realized that how I mean those words and how I use them as an American is not how non-Americans perceive those words. Weird is just another way for me to say different. And Misha hates, and I guess I shouldn't use the word hate, Misha doesn't like how I hyperbolize all the time because it really cuts down the range of what I'm trying to say. I totally get how this can be harmful when communicating with someone because if you're always using the most extreme and exaggerated way to express what you're feeling, then it's hard to tell what's important versus what's not important. So because of my habit of hyperbolizing, Misha tends to call me his little drama queen because everything sounds like an emergency because I'm always exaggerating everything. In fact, I think I just hyperbolized like 18 different times in the past minute just talking to you guys now. So you can see it's a pretty bad habit and I probably should work on fixing that. And number seven, the real last habit I'll go over in this video is always posting on social media. I'm sure it's not surprising to any of you that someone who is willing to put themselves out there on YouTube probably posts on social media a lot. I'm always uploading photos on Facebook and Instagram. I post YouTube videos every single week and I'm constantly trolling the comment section of my videos. And Misha even asked me the other day how I can be so comfortable with spontaneously posting on different social media platforms platforms because of how frequently I do it. And I recognize that because I'm on YouTube, I might not be the best example for which to base the average American's use of social media. So I'll put it to you this way. Misha has 250 friends on Facebook and of those 250 friends, about 10 are Americans whom he met through me. And those 10 Americans post so much on their Facebook pages that it completely consumes Misha's feed. His German friends just hardly ever post on Facebook and it's not like there's a different social media platform out there that Germans prefer over Facebook. They just don't put themselves out there as much as Americans do and I think it goes back to this idea that Germans are often more concerned about privacy than Americans. Alright guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every single time that I post a sweet, sweet new video. And thank you so much to my patrons for all of the support that you've given me. I appreciate it more than I could ever say and I will catch you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at Kelly Does Her Thing and feel free to DM me with any questions or comments you have.